Hello Webflow developers and website designers. This video is all about how you can supercharge Webflow not only to make more money but to speed up all of your processes. These are tools that I specifically use myself to actually make more money and to speed up everything and I use these tools every single day. One of them I actually use probably every five seconds and I'm going to tell you right at the end the number one tool that I use to actually upsell my clients for about 500 to 1 thousand pounds per project and it's just by cloning a simple little thing so stay till the end uh, for me to tell you about that now if you're not using these tools you are probably just an average web flow developer and the problem with that is you're leaving money on the table and I've spoke about this in the previous videos in that Webflow may be a saturated market with how many developers there are, but to be a good Webflow developer, you're actually very rare. And if you utilize these tools, you're gonna to be able to extend your client base to the top tier clients that are gonna be charging 10,000, 20,000 pound per website. We're not talking about 500 pound websites here. So the quick answer, to this is these tools are going to speed up your development make you more money and turn you into a webflow pro on the note of that make sure to join the facebook webflow pro group which is linked below right now number one is going to be mid journey if i take you over to my screen i'm going to show you exactly why i utilize this tool so when i'm actually designing websites coming up with ideas for the websites can be a tedious process now there's only a few simple answers to a design problem but speeding up this problem solving situation is paramount to making more money as you can see here i actually prompted with this question i said design a website hero for a web design company i would do this probably about 10 times and i would just get an absolute balling list of websites and as you can see here, it's come up with some cool concepts that i could possibly use layout different layouts see this nav bar here so these are all little design elements that okay the websites don't look great they don't really make much sense and this is more of like a personal person website like a one person band but maybe i wanted to do a design agency one so i would use little elements from this note them down use figma put a collage together of course i'm using pinterest and awards the awww site to find even more websites but this is just a great way to come up with ideas that aren't in the world because chat gpt uh, sorry not chat gpt this mid journey is coming up with ideas out of thin air so great way to come up with ideas now another top um, way to utilize this software is say you've actually got you're sending off proposals and if you want to edge yourself to the next level in getting yourself uh, that job what you want to do is actually upscale one of these let's go for number three and say you're utilizing upwork and somebody's asked oh i want um, a website designed for a web design company now obviously this one isn't that great but you would download this and then say listen i've used ai to come up with a few concepts i think this is nice what they've used here i like the layout i like the way the nav bar fades out you're just going to come that one step further ahead because you're actually providing ideas and content decisions for the website without even being hired and the reason i would do this is because it takes literally a second to add to your proposal so yes this is a pay tool but it's bringing hundreds of thousand times the amount that the five pound is worth per month so 100 percent use this software it is paramount to um, speeding up your process and obviously getting in more tools so oh that is another idea i actually have been using it to create stock footage so for example if you want to come up with mock-ups type in white wall uh, say you want to do posters type in white poster on a brick wall it's going to come up with mock-ups you can come up with portraits of people i actually uh, created a few examples i needed a woman as a what was it a real estate agent and i wanted her to wear an orange uh, t-shirt and mid journey came up with four examples of women that are state agents with orange t-shirts and it just added that extra oomph to the project when i handed it over to the client because they were just amazed they thought that i had done f photography for their client uh, for their project but it was all just done with mid journey so number two the absolute best tool at the moment ai again is uh chat gpt now i use chat gpt for absolutely everything i've actually used it myself for 
uh, coming up with YouTube videos. I use it to come up with hero ideas. Now, let me just come over to the software and I'll show you. So look, let's come up with web design agency hero heading ideas. And this is a terrible prompt. And it's just gonna come up with free, just the endless supply of great ideas for my heading. Crafting exquisite digital experiences, your vision, our innovation. Now you can you can keep on prompting this and prompting this and then adding keywords and just um, increasing your prompt value. And another great thing about this is that when you're supplying again ideas to clients, you're just speeding up the process by 10. Um, and that just means that you're making more and more money because you're speeding up everything. Now, one of the other things that I actually utilize this for is actually for a virtual assistant. So for example, I had a project where a client uh, wasn't, well, he just went AWOL. He, uh, he owed me about 5,000 pounds and I didn't know what to do. I'd never been in the position before because I've always taken money up front. This one case, I did not take the money up front. I used ChatGPT to look up the laws in their country and then write an email back and forth over a period of four days. And I told it to write in a polite manner and I told it to pretend that it was a virtual assistant for my company, Legacy Design. Well, virtual accounts. And after that four days, I received the 5,000 pounds because there was pretty much nothing that this this client could do. Luckily, everything's fine now. There was no hard feelings, but it's just amazing what ChatGPT can be used for. Like I said, I use it for back and forth emails. I use it for writing placeholder content and then actually using it real content. So use it, speed up your processes and use it to actually be your virtual assistant to find more jobs, uh, actually send proposals with it as well. Okay, I'm actually going to show you a Webflow tool that I utilize um every single five damn seconds so here we are in webflow and as you can see if we select let's just create a uh, div here so let's say we wanted this to be 500 it's automatically going to go to pixels now the reason we don't want to use pixels is because this isn't the best responsive unit that you can utilize. The best responsive unit you can utilize are REMs. Now, normally when you're doing REMs, you have to do divided by 16 or whatever the, yeah, divided by 16 and then it's going to uh, do it to REMs and then you got set to REMs. It's just a pain in the butt. With uh, this extension, which you can get on the Google Google extension store, and I'm going to link it below, it is Timothy Rick's Webflow extension. And look, I can type in 20 pixels width, and all I do is push spacebar, and it's set to EMs. So I've actually got it set to e, uh, EMs, but if you set unit yeah i've actually got it set to ems but you can actually replace this as rems and that is just such a speed uh increase that you can just push whatever height of 100 it's set to pixels and then push spacebar and it's going to set it to ems or rems whichever you want to use but i would definitely specify you should utilize rems that tool is down below and literally every single thing in my project is set to rems and you should be utilizing this as well so make sure you go and get that tool chrome extension store linked below now the next tool that is the absolute powerhouse of webflow it turns it into a whole new system and if you're not using it you are definitely not a webflow pro you must have heard of FinSuite, you must have seen their tutorials, you must have heard of FinSuite attributes. Without further ado, let me just show you what this looks like. So if we come over to Webflow, you'll see here when you download the Chrome extension, there's a little F at the bottom that gets added to Webflow. Now you'll see candies, client first, attributes, products, and change logs. Look at all of these tools that we can use. So number one, what I utilize this for is organization of my style guide and just clean up of the project in whole. So you can remove breakpoints, which isn't native within Webflow. You can reorder your color swatches. I'll talk about cookie consent in a bit. Uh, you can reorder your CSS. Um, you can quickly get to custom code without actually having to come out of the product. Uh, projects. So these are speeding up workflows, money, 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 interaction reorder, uh, merging your combo classes, again, clean up page history, remove classes, remove styles, unbind CMS. Oh my goodness. Have you ever created a CMS or imported a component that already has a CMS uh, built into it? This is a time saver. And then also you've got vertical canvas resizing, which is another viewport that you can add to your website uh, to make sure that everything's working great. 
So like I said, that's what I use it for number one is to clean up everything. Uh, but the, I mean, there's tools like the 301 bulk redirect where if you're working with big, bigger projects like I recently did, that is that that's saving hours, possibly days, depending on the um, amount of redirects. Now, client first, uh, you can quickly and easily add in all of the page structure, all of the spacing systems, basically the industry standard of what Webflow should be used at the moment because it all uses REM, like I said, why I used the tool before. And look, even within this, you've got a pixel to REM migrator, which is going to transform everything on the page. The reason why I use Timothy Ricks is just to ensure that I am creating the right REMs whilst I'm designing and I don't have to come through and click this whilst I'm designing. It's just a speeder, speed updater. Now, this is a crazy tool. If you've ever used attributes, which is basically a component library of Webflow structures that just up your game, you can create the most amazing looking Webflow sites. Because Webflow obviously is a coding tool as well, but base the base Webflow, you can't do a lot of things unless you code. Now, obviously not all of us as designers know how to code. Fin Suites attributes basically allows you to add in all of these crazy different coded elements that, for example, um, sliders, CMS sliders, just things that I've added to websites and have got me then 10,000 pound jobs because other Webflow developers don't know how to do this. When I've got jobs, I've actually been able to create things that are more complex than a JavaScript or a CSS coder was able to create because I have access to this attributes database of just insane components that FinSuite offers. So if you're not using this, please, please, please do yourself a favor, get yourself on the FinSuite extension and add it to Webflow because it is just gonna up your game. You're gonna be able to sell so many different things. Now, this brings me back to the most important, well, actually I teased that at the start. It's it's a cool, a cool plugin, not plugin extension, it's the same plugin actually. If we go back over to the desktop, if you come into Cookie Consent, which is the FinSuite extension, I utilize this to actually sell clients a Cookie Consent banner for another 500 to 1,000 uh, pounds. Because it's a legal document, it's an additional thing that I say, would you like to add this to your website? If they say yes, bosh, all you need to do, copy it, select your page wrapper, paste it in, look, you've got a cookie consent. Now, the documentation is also linked all within the FinSuite uh, links. And look, you've just made, with a click of a button, an extra thousand pounds. So if you're not utilizing this, you're leaving money on the table, I would highly, highly recommend that you use it. So in conclusion, the four best tools that you should be using and why mid journey, speed up your development process by creating a website concepts and actually get proposals that much better by sending websites as well. The next tool I would say you should be utilizing every day is ChatGPT. Not only can you speak to clients with this, but you can be using it to create placeholder text and all everything basically. Anything that is writing content, you're gonna speed up the process with this tool. Number three is going to be Timothy Rick's Pixel to REM converter, which you can get from the Google Chrome store. Should be using REMs. It is the responsive unit or industry standard for web design. Do not be using pixels. And then number four is the FinSuite extension, which has saved my ass so many times. And that cookie consent banner is just bringing in the money for me. So definitely go ahead, download all them tools, they're linked below. Now, of course, if you wanna learn more and keep up to date with all of the best tools to become a Webflow Pro, join the Webflow Pro Facebook community, which is also linked below in the bio. And I hope to see you there. Of course, ask me any questions you want. Um, I always love to help. Thanks for watching the video. Click like and subscribe or offer me some feedback in other tools that you like utilizing or why you don't like utilizing these tools that I've said. I'm always open to great ideas. Let's get rich together and build the best companies possible. Speak to you guys soon.